Hey guys, Ben Futterberg here, and we're in Cherokee, North Carolina. And my plan today is to do a bit of, bit of bridge fishing. In other words, I got several bridges I picked out. We're just gonna go to the bridge, fish up underneath them, take a look around. That's a good starting point if you're up here in Cherokee, because usually nine times out of 10, they're gonna drop fish off the bridge. So if you're lucky enough, you might catch them where they uh, lay in there. So, let's watch this episode. Stay tuned. All right guys, what I'm using today is a number of, this is a number one blue fox. It's a little bit lighter than the number two. And the reason for that is I'm in a smaller creek and uh, I just had better luck on a little bit lighter uh, spinners, but this primarily is what I use the the, the blue foxes because they get they just got such good hooks. So let's go down here and check this bridge out. All right, we up under the Wrights Creeks Bridge. I'm throwing this little old spinner, and what you want to do, you're mainly getting in here to just see if any fish in here. Just throw a couple of times. If, if the trout are in here, they're going to they gonna pick it up real quick. Like I say, we, we're probably a good uh, half a mile from the casino right in here. So, I mean, a good strategy would be to you're going to fish these smaller creeks, which this creek here is called Soco Creek. You want to uh, just work your way down. I mean, looking in front of me, I got some pretty good water, looks like. Now, looking up stream here, you can go all the way up the stream where the uh, public waters are. All this is public waters, catch and uh, catch and keep. You can use live bait, you can use spinners. If you go on up, you can go up uh, almost three miles and you're still in the, uh, the boundaries of the public water. It goes all the way up to the old uh, Soco Road. Here's another look at the Wrights Creek Bridge. We went, we went down on the other side. So start right here, fish your way all the way down to the casino. All right, this is a pretty good looking, decent hole. Imagine it's a little bit deeper in here, but I tell you, these trout, it, oh, there he is right there. These trout like areas like this. There ain't no biggie. A big one. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Start off. Starting off real good. Now let's throw in here again. They may be stacked up in here, I don't know. Like I say, I'm throwing a number one blue fox. And the reason for that is because I'm, I'm fishing smaller water. Good little area in here. Good area. All right, we're going to move down just a little bit. Good strategy. Don't be, don't stay in one area too long. Stay on the move. You pick up more trout that way. Now, when I when I come up, there were two other people fishing the bridge. I don't know how long they've been there, and uh, they said they were leaving to go 
to the bigger water. And uh, that's why I didn't stay too long up under that bridge. A lot of folks just want easy access. They want to fish right up on them bridges and then they'll move on, which is a good strategy. Uh, but if you work hard at it, work down these streams, you can catch a limit in these little pockets all down through here. Work it all the way down to the casino. It's a beautiful day in Cherokee. The forecast is, uh, I think they call it maybe five to 10% chance of rain, which uh, is probably not gonna happen. Uh, the water's down a little bit. Um, I got an app. I'm gonna put that on here. Uh, show you what that's all about. But um, you get a chance to use that app. Tell you how low the water is up here on these rivers. Another view of that bridge. And you see, there's some really good water in here. And like I say, if they drop off that bridge, you're gonna limit out in no time in here all right we're going to head out of here and go to our next spot try this out when you come down here and uh you may end up hitting your limit right quick wright's creek bridge all right guys another place you can another bridge you can go to is right here going into the casino you can park right over here in this uh, empty parking lot uh, and just walk across the road, go up under that bridge and hit it and see if there's anything up under there. Let's, we're going to do that now. Yes, best access on this bridge right here. Just walk all the way across it and then come over here at the parking lot. Actually, you probably could park right there at the parking lot if you wanted to. And then just make your way down here. Okay, we enter this bridge, and I'm going to just say that on the other side where it's a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, not much, maybe some fish holding up. So we're going to go up here at the top and work our way back down. Now this is Soco Creek. We're still in Soco Creek. Let's throw in here. Go in here, see if we pick up one. Let's say they in there. We're gonna get it right off. I like that deeper side over here. This fish gonna probably more prone to hold up over on that wall. good starting point here if you want to fish start here and work your way downstream to uh, Wendy's you're less than uh, a half a mile you can fish that bridge down at the Wendy's as well 
The last time I was down here, had two other guys, and I was trying to set up my camera equipment. They went ahead and left ahead of me. And it took me about 10, 15 minutes to get everything ready, and then another 10 minutes walk down to where they were at. And uh, one guy that was under the bridge that was with me, he'd already limited out. Alright, so remember this, the bridge going into the casino, the main, the main drive, casino drive, start that bridge, get on that deeper side of the bank, water down a little bit right now, I ain't going to keep you from catching them. We're gonna give this one more cast, and then we're gonna move on. All right, so I'm gonna do another cast. I wasn't happy with that one. We're gonna cast right down the side. Oh, there he is, right there. That one right there, he come off. Come off on me. right down beside this wall now there you right there now let's see if we can hold on to it A little bit bigger than the other ones. There we go. See that? See that one right there? Alright. This, uh, I'm, I'm at the Casino Drive, main bridge. Um, if you go upstream on one of my videos, I got couple places up there around in front of the uh, entrance to the casino doors uh, a lot of good places up there some bridges fish around them up under them but between here up to the main casino there's a lot of good pockets up in here really mainly you need to use some crickets or night crawlers those pockets are pretty deep but you can limit out all right this is a hot spot Here's the bridge that I was talking about at Wendy's. Deep water. Cast in there a little bit and see. If you catch anything. Ain't nobody here. Alright, let's try this. Deep water. I might pick up one in here. Always worth trying. You can park at the Wendy's and get down here. You ought to at least get one good one in here.
Vamos ver o que é essa. All right, I ain't got any hits on this bridge, but this is one location. Come and try it. Another look at that bridge area at the Wendy's. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode on some of these bridges to hit in Cherokee. Guys, if you hadn't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I'm up here a couple times a year. Um, until the next time, God bless all of you, and have a great week.